Good morning. It's Sunday. I forgot which day of November it is, but yeah, it's uh, mid November. Um, and uh, we're here at the Green Corridor, beautiful Green Corridor, lots of joggers and all that. Um, I'm on my Canyon Grill. Can't really see properly, but yeah. And uh, Whaley is way in front with his uh, Canyon Grizzle uh, AL, the aluminium version. Uh, it's a new thing that just came up, um, I think two months ago. So he got his pretty quick. And uh, the best part about the AL version is that it's got almost the same kind of look and feel as um, the uh, carbon version except that it even has rear rack mounts so that's really amazing so so yeah and speaking of which I had uh, actually bought a second hand tail fin and if you don't know what a tail fin is it's a kind of carbon fiber rack that you fix uh, on the back of road bikes or uh, even gravel bikes um, and it's meant for bikes that have no uh, rear rack mounts so the trick is that it latches onto your seat post as well as gives you a true axle or quick release skewer that is custom to provide itself some support when you mount it towards the wheels so it's a very clever design unfortunately I didn't realize the version that I bought was the very first version and apparently they had released new ones and this first version actually has um, it's shorter so this is very high risk of it doing a chain rub uh, I mean not chain rub tire rub so that's the really difficult part um, so anyway I, I it feels so when I test mounted it but I bought the right skewers or, or true axle for my bike uh, then we'll see and I express ship it so by next week I should be able to mount it and see how bad it is if it's really bad I might have no choice but to sell it uh, Mikael actually tried to help by pointing out how uh, there are actually rear mud guard uh, mount mounts okay you can actually mount the mount for that tail fin onto the rear rack mount area but unfortunately my bike being a canyon has its own custom position for its uh, rear mark guard mount so out of luck um, I mean if I really want to finagle and engineer a solution probably there's a way but it's not going to be as rock solid as you know buying the right one um, but it's a very expensive proposition I mean I bought mine second hand for about 450 already that's not cheap but a full package with the custom panniers that go with it is about a thousand Singapore dollars so it's not cheap but it's beautiful it's well made and it's rock solid so anyway let me show you what you get to see so this is the green corridor and we've already gone past or at least about to go past uh, Bukit Merah and um, yeah, you see, I love how the sun casts its rays. Um, today is exceptionally foggy or misty for some reason. So, but it adds to the mood. Um, one of those rare occasions where it kind of feels like you're in London. Uh, because the last time I went to London was Christmas and it was many years ago, but it was wet and all that. Hey, Willie. Okay, it looks like my friend powered on ahead because I thought that was him but it's not and uh, we'll just catch up to them anyhow uh, we're almost towards Tanjung Paga railway station um, probably less than a kilometer from there but uh, as you can see it's very beautiful over here One uh, controversial part about uh, the Green Corridor is that 
for some reason, especially the Bukit Timah part, where it's a bit more narrow here, it's still a bit wide. Um, the government kind of demarcates it as a pedestrian walkway for some reason. And so they mark it as 10 kilometers per hour for cyclists, which is pretty unforgiving. Um, but as you can see, most people, they ride at their casual pace, which is probably going to be about 15 to 20 kilometers an hour. Um, and the whole idea is that actually they want to deconflict between cyclists and uh, pedestrians. And I, I, as we all know, I mean, when it comes to policies and all that, the best way to mitigate is still just having a sense of courtesy and consideration for each other slow down and all that but to, to rely on rules which is what happens in Singapore a lot ends up being a society where it's very um, legally driven and uh, it's very unfortunate um, it's almost like the baseline of society in a way when we have to operate based on such rules rather than um, human graciousness you know kindness to one another Anyhow, yeah, I hope you're able to see it. The morning sun is so beautiful. So we're now in uh, the Everton Park area, and uh, as you can see, it's very beautiful. Lots of nice Peranakan houses, shop houses. And this is, uh, I think it's called Blair Road. We're just cruising through town. Um, it's a relax ride because Willie's bike uh, needs some adjustment. Huh? Yeah. I'm open. Uh, we can go to the aisle first. Let me navigate. Do you know how to go? I mean, we can just explore lah. We can go by the pedestrian for here, then later we go into the road, like Maxwell there. Yeah, Maxwell can merge back. Probably a tip pedestrian, right? This is uh, Tolo Aya. And uh, there's actually a nice market here where a lot of cyclists come to. Um, but unfortunately, they are under renovations right now until 10th of January next year. So yeah, there's two stories. You know, for the longest time I come here, I always eat on the first floor. I never realized there was a second floor to it. Now over here, um, semi-financial district, so a bit more quiet. But there are a lot of nice cafes here and a lot of the um, cyclists, the more well-to-do ones, they come to this area to have their coffee after their ride. So we're talking about Sani's, uh, Common Man and all that. So it's all here. And this Angxiang Hill. Yeah, but I think I think they're supposed to open also. I, I was checking Google last night. Not sure, maybe they open later. The one at Lavender is closed. Oh, oh, I see. They had no signings on either. Is that, is that the one? I don't know, there's so many I'm confused with. Oh. Really. <laughs> yeah. And maybe they do move around, I don't know. Nowadays, it's bad. 
Oh, they are open here. Yeah, but everything's closed. <laughs> uh, we'll go down Boon Tak Street. Take a look. Oh, this one, the eating house gone. Looks like we're a little too early for anything. But anyway, I, I'm sure, pretty sure we can do more riding right first. Yeah. Okay, so we'll decide where to go then come back. 